Commercial and recreational fishermen rallied in Pinellas County. They are angry about a federal ban on grouper fishing. Our Eric Waxler joins us now live with more on this. Good evening, Eric. Good evening, Linda. Officials in this federal building behind me say the reason why there's some sort of shortage of this specific kind of grouper is not because of the oil spill, but may be tied to red tide in 2005. Fishermen say there is no justification for a ban, and, well, they just want to be able to earn a living. Fishing in the Gulf waters off Madeira Beach is all Dane Karcher has ever known. I was born here. My parents uh, would take me fishing and diving as a young kid, and we would go and uh, catch grouper. Grouper fishing was also a big part of his charter boat business at Johns Pass until a federal ban was put in place. The regulations prevent catching gag grouper, more commonly known as black grouper. Since they can't go out and catch grouper, a lot of people don't even want to go out fishing. Dane and hundreds of other fishermen showed up in St. Pete this morning to protest the ban. They say it's killing their business. We're tired of unnecessary closures. We're tired of rules and hearing that the science says that the fish are in trouble when we see more fish out there than we've ever seen. Just across the street from the rally is the National Marine Fisheries Service. Officials there say the ban is a result of overfishing and needed to rebuild the species. We hope that people can hang in there. Now with GAG, the amount of fish available will increase every year as the stock um, rebuilds. Back on Dane's boat, he doesn't mind some restrictions, but says his business is down 75%, and the customers he does have are confused. It's frustrating. The people are like, we can't keep it? Whew, toss it right back. And the restrictions are in place through the end of May. They only are for federal waters right now, although there could be more restrictions. There could be a grouper season scheduled for the fall, but a lot of the fishermen we talk to, they're just frustrated and angry at what they say is the federal government overstepping its bounds into their industry. Live in St. Petersburg, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.